Oh man, I'm an hour into this game and I hope I don't lose any progress. Ah, but wait a sec. What do we have here? Load and save buttons. Let's try it out. Save game, new save game, save it. Ah yes, I can load it again. So RPG Playground fans, I have some exciting news. Save and load is now available for all RPG Playground games. Now, if you're new here, I created RPG Playground to make it really easy and simple to create your own RPGs. So you can drag some stuff on the levels. And of course we have characters. And if you click on a character, you can change all kinds of properties, including what happens when you bump into it. You don't need to know any coding for this. And so now we're at a point where games keep getting bigger and longer. But the problem was we didn't have any save games. So that meant you had to keep your browser open or play the whole game through in one session. Now for me, saving and loading games was a nightmare to implement and I kept postponing it. I basically said, hey, if you can show me games that are long enough to justify save games, then I will implement it. And boy, did you show me. McMore, one of our community members, is also a streamer, so he's both on Twitch and on YouTube. And he makes these awesome videos playing RPG Playground games. Now, one of these videos is two and a half hours long, so basically that justified implementing save games. Now, for me, saving and loading games still scares the hell out of me, and I'll explain exactly why. You see, game designers can update their games after they release it, which means save games need to take all these changes into account. For most things, it works just fine, but to show you when it could possibly go wrong is, for example, when you go into level, you save it. So let's save it here. Let's write over my save game. All right, close it. And then we delete this one. We go back here, okay, and when we try to load it, then you get an error message that you cannot load the game, which is pretty logical because that level where the hero was in was deleted. So make sure when you release your game already, don't delete any levels, just make sure you cut all the paths towards it, but leave it there for the people who actually saved their game on that spot. But for the rest, it should all work fine and loading games should be able to recover from any modifications that you made. Now the saves and the loads, they are stored locally in your browser. That means if you go from desktop to mobile, for example, your save games will not be there. It's only on the system that you played previously. Now, if you really want such features, then make sure you notify me, then I can put it in the planning. But right now, it's not really on the roadmap yet. Now, one other thing during a cutscene like this one here, you will not be able to save a game. This is not unusual for other games too. So for now it's in there. Maybe in the future I will allow people to save right in the middle of it. But it was a bit too much work now and I want to focus on some other features first. So I would say give it a try. Go play some very long games, save in the middle. Don't worry about losing your progress. And of course, I would love to hear your feedback. So leave a comment down below this video or join us on Discord or Reddit. I will put the links down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and please support us by giving this video a like. Have fun and see you next time. Bye.